Hey guys, it's Rachel Porter here with Hobby Farms Magazine, and I'm talking to Lindsay Huckabee with Huckabee Flower Farms, talking about how she got started doing a cut flower garden and how she's finding ways to profit from it in her backyard. So Lindsay, can you give us a little how your setup started, what you started doing first, what you needed to buy first, and why you decided to do it? Um, sure, back in uh, 2020 during COVID, I was furloughed from work and I saw a little snippet about the Florette Flower Farm and I thought, hey, why don't I try that? That's a good, idea, fun idea and a fun hobby. Um, so I bought a little uh, cut flower starter kit and started three beds right back there against the fence. And we figured out that, hey, we had a green thumb. And so the flowers grew, we cut them and we gave them all away. So we decided to pursue it as kind of a side job. That winter I took a online course from the gardener's workshop and kind of learned all of the tips and tricks about flower farming. Since then we've just kind of been growing back here in the corner of our backyard. And uh, now we're about three years in and we do bouquet subscriptions and we sell at a little a boutique in J downtown Jinx, the Pink Lily. Okay, awesome. So she's a great example of a hobby farmer taking what they're passionate about, continuing to learn about it, and then turning around and making a profit over it. So what all do you offer for people to buy out of the garden? Uh, we do a bouquet subscription, which is where we uh, will make a nice uh, large bouquet. It's a wrapped bouquet. We will deliver that to your home or office. It's every other week. And we offer anywhere from a one month to a five month subscription. Mm -hmm. And that's anywhere from April through September. We also offer just individual bouquets. Mm -hmm. We have bases. And we also do mason jar bouquets. They're a little bit smaller, um, but they're really cute. We tie them with a cute little bow. So where do you find your clients? Like who, how did you start getting people to learn and know about the subscription and who's most interested in purchasing? Uh, probably through social media. Mm -hmm. They see us somewhere. We're on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, awesome. So we're just gonna take a look around the garden that she has planted here and it's kind of in between it's fading out of the spring season and about to start into the summer season so she's kind of got flowers that are on their way out and flowers that are on their way in so let's take a look this is going to be mainly your your what we call cool flowers where we plant mm -hmm. in the fall over winter and then they come up in the spring so these are black eyed susans that have all reseeded themselves so that's the other thing, mm -hmm. very low cost, because they yes. reseed themselves, yeah. and you can see how many we have. And a great cherry option. Right. This is AMI, uh, it's a good like supporting flower. Mm -hmm. um, that's also a cool flower. I love them uh, for their little tiny clusters yeah. of light. Right? right. So these are some of my snapdragon, and you can see that one's ready to cut, because the lowermost uh, bloom is open so we cut those at the bottom and you can see these are more branches so there's three tiny ones and they'll all come up mm -hmm. but we had these beautiful um this one here is my favorite pink with kind of stripes in the middle and there's your traditional blue what they call blue bachelor mm -hmm. button. okay so in your beginner cut flower set what yes. does that look like that's and where is it available um i got it at lowe's okay. and it comes with a tray mm -hmm. um a tray for your soil so it came with the soil and um seeds so it was mm -hmm. just zinnias and branching sunflowers okay and so it has instructions mm -hmm. you just put the water in it the pellets grow you put a seed in each one cover it with a lid it's just a clear plastic mm -hmm. lid. right okay so it is starting seeds indoors mm -hmm. and then everything in, yeah okay almost everything i do is indoor seeds you okay. can direct seed especially right. sunflowers mm -hmm. you can put the seeds in the ground they will grow and same with zinnias mm -hmm. but i do start mine all inside just so i kind of have a, a right. count Okay, so we are in Lindsay's dining room and she's gonna show us after she has cut these flowers at the appropriate time, she's been storing them in cups with water and together we're gonna to make a mason jar bouquet, right? Yes. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with our buclorum. So um, you just wanna kinda of measure it. I just kinda of stick it in the back usually. Um, the other thing is you wanna make sure you don't have any leaves in the water because they just rot and they're mm -hmm. kinda of clog up the pores. So I'm gonna cut that down a little bit. Don't be afraid to cut to make it how you want. I'm gonna stick it in there. Um, 
and then I just kind of play around with things. That I've got in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and put in kind of my focal flower, which would be one of my larger ones, like we could do a sunflower in this one. So we'll just kind of put that down the size. I'm gonna take off that leaf because it's huge. We don't really need that, and that one's got bite marks on it, so I'm gonna take that off too. And I usually try to stick that in the middle. Um, I love Feverfew, especially for mason jars, because it kind of really gives it some. Yes, yeah, very cute southern. Little, I like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can pull in some Ami if you want. Uh, that's one of these guys. And I'm gonna go with a little bit smaller. That is really cool. Version. I'm gonna cut that. Like I said, don't be afraid to clip and cut. They'll be fine. So you got that, and then we can pull in. If we wanted to pull in some red, why not? Put that in the front. Cutflower gardens are something you can really pursue if that is your hobby and your passion right now. They're easy to get into. There's lots of resources out there and you just get to grow and you get to garden and it's an ever evolving process where you get to change it up and see what you like and see what works and see what doesn't. So Lindsay grows and sells subscriptions April all the way through September. Her bouquets range from early pastel spring colors all the way through really vibrant summer colors, getting into some of those darker fall colors. So it's a great long season that you can grow and keep growing. She's got a small amount of space that's gonna produce loads of bouquets. So it's not something you have to have acres on acres ready to go. So if you're interested in getting into that, look at some of these sources that she's used and post your comments below and we'll get those answered for you.